Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about Python dictionaries. What is Python dictionary? Dictionary is one of four built-in Python data structures and used to store data values in key and value pairs. Dictionary is a collection which is ordered and changeable and doesn't allow duplicates. Dictionaries are written within Crowley practice and we have keys and value. We will create a dictionary here. <clears throat> dictionary one, name, Jimmy, salary, 1500, title, chief officer, and brand, ditch one. We will run and see the result. This is the dictionary. This name is a key. Jimmy is value for name T and salary is a key also and 1500 value title is a key chief officer is a value brand dictionary type <coughs> plus dictionary get the number of item inside the dictionary with length function length message brand length Dictionary three contain three keys and three values. Duplicates not allowed. In this example, dictionary one name Jimmy salary fifteen hundred salary again two thousand title chief officer brand dictionary. We will run and see the elements of the dictionary. Name Jimmy, salary 2000, one key only with salary. And this not inserted in dictionary. And it takes the last value. Title Chief Officer. Dictionary items data type. The items can be any data type. Python data type. This name Jimmy. String salary is integer. Single is polyon value. Kids is a list of values. And we will print the dictionary. Name Jimmy salary 1500. Single false. Kids Tim and Kevin. It's a list. The value for kids he Tim and Kevin list access dictionary items get the value of the key and print dictionary one is key name it will get the value for name it should be and we will run it's Jimmy Jimmy is the value for key name we can use get method and get the same result for last cell the key kids and the value for kids Tim and Kevin Get keys. Keys method will return a list of all the keys in the dictionary. Brand dictionary dot keys. This is the keys for the dictionary. Name, salary, single, kids. Get values. Values method will return a list of all values in the dictionary. Brand dictionary dot values. Dec values. Jimmy. 15. 100. False. Tim and Kevin. This is the values. Modify dictionary values. This is the dictionary. And we will print before modify. And we will modify the name change from Jimmy 
to table. Dictionary with key name equal Kevin and we will print dictionary after modify run the name before modification Jimmy after modification Kevin another way to modify dictionary values using update method Dictionary one, mean Jimmy, and the print before modification. Dictionary one dot update name Johnson. It will change Jimmy to Johnson and the print the dictionary after modification. Jimmy became Johnson. Add new item to dictionary. Dictionary one, same dictionary, and we will add item with key job title. Dictionary one, key job title equal general manager, and we will print the dictionary. Run. This is the old dictionary without job title, and after modification, add job title general manager check if key exists if deductions in deck one print yes else print, print no deductions no deductions in the dictionary in the deck one should be print no Remove dictionary items. To remove dictionary items, we use Bob methods. This is the dictionary and dict one dot pop salary. It will be removed the salary key and value. And run. The salary is not here. It was removed. Pop item method removes the last inserted item. The same dictionary, deck one, deck one dot pop item method. And run. It removed the last item. E and value kids kids is not here after pop item deck one delete dictionary this is the dictionary deck one brand dictionary before delete del deck one print deck one run it will print the dictionary before delete after delete, give me error because name deck one is not defined because it's already deleted. Clear method. This method delete, delete all item in dictionary, but keep dictionary empty. Keep dictionary exists, but empty. Dictionary one, brand dictionary, deck one dot clear method, print deck one after clear run this is the dictionary before clear and after clear dictionary already exists but empty loop dictionary we can loop the dictionary here and the brand result this is the dictionary for all in deck one brand all it will print the keys for the dictionary run the keys name salary single kids this print the keys for all in deck one print deck one key value of all 
it will print the values we will run the values Jimmy 1500 false Tim and Kevin this is the values copy dictionaries we can make a copy of dictionaries with the copy method deck one name salary single kids deck two equal deck one dot copy method brand deck two deck two should be same deck one it's copy from deck one make a copy of a dictionary with the deck function Deck one, name, salary, single, kids. Deck three, equal, deck, deck one. Make a copy from deck one and put it into deck three. Brent, deck three, the same <coughs> result. Nested dictionaries. It means that dictionary can contain more than one dictionary. Deck one, equal, <clears throat> M1 is a dictionary name Jimmy salary 2000 and M2 is another dictionary inside the deck 1 dictionary also name Kevin salary 3000 Brent deck 1 M1 is a dictionary and M2 is another dictionary and all together inside the deck one dictionary. Print deck one dot keys. The keys employee one and employee two. Employee one and employee two. This is from here. Brent deck one dot values. We'll run it. Give us the value. This values for employee one key, and this values for employee two key. Brent dictionary key. Employee one, it will print the dictionary for the key. It will print the value for employee one only. This is the value for employee one name Jimmy and salary two thousand. Print deck one employee one name. It will print the name for the dictionary. Employee one should be Jimmy. For I in deck one, print I. It will print the sub dictionaries. This is a key. For I in deck one, print I and the print dictionary of key i employee one the value for i and the values and keys here for employee one the name for employee one jimmy and the salary for employee one two thousand employee two name is kevin salary three thousand this is everything you need to know to start with Python dictionary. And I will put the link for this Jupyter notebook in the video description and you can download it. And also I will put some important links. I hope it will be useful for you. Thanks for watching and I hope this video was useful for you. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you in next video.